Hello, I'm David Kerr and you're watching Shalom World News. Here are your headlines from around the globe. Pope Francis has asked the Vatican's charitable wing to donate 30 respirators to hospitals treating COVID-19 patients. The respirators will be distributed to medical facilities located in those regions hardest hit by the present pandemic in Italy and Spain. Currently, both countries are facing a shortage of respirators and other medical equipment to cope with the numbers of people contracting respiratory problems due to the coronavirus. Hence, the gift by Pope Francis through the Office of Papal Charities, the Department of the Holy See charged with exercising charity to the poor in the name of the Holy Father. New York's Cardinal Archbishop is urging Catholics to place their trust in Jesus Christ in the face of the threat of COVID-19. In an article carried in his diocesan website, Cardinal Timothy Dolan says that in the life of a Catholic, trust and faith in Jesus are paramount. He recognised that the current pandemic was causing both suffering and struggle for many people. He pointed out, though, that history suggests that in times of plague, famine, natural disaster and war, people turn to interior strength, to one another and, most importantly, to God. Cardinal Dolan also said that both he and his priests are very keen to restart public masses a practice which is currently suspended across the United States. Meanwhile, the Cardinal Archbishop of Cologne in Germany is responding to the COVID-19 pandemic by opening up his seminary to the homeless. With seminarians all sent home, Cardinal Rainer Volke plans to utilise the vacant space to offer warm meals, restrooms and showers to the city's homeless population. The Cardinal announced his decision on Twitter. Poland's president has visited the shrine of Our Lady of Czestochowa to pray for protection for the Polish people during the COVID-19 pandemic. President Andrzej Duda also participated in Vespers or evening prayer during his visit to the monastery of Jasna Góra. He has served as president of Poland since 2015. His visit follows Poland's consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary. That took place last week. Finally, there are more Catholics in the world than ever before. That's according to new statistics published by the Vatican. They revealed that between 2013 and 2018, there was an increase of approximately 6% in the numbers of Catholics worldwide, up by 75 million to a total of 1.3 billion people. That's about 18% of the world's population. The figures also show that priestly vocations in Africa grew during that time by over 14%, and in Asia by 11%. Meanwhile, there has also been a 10% increase in the number of permanent deacons. Well, that's all for now. Do join me next time on Shalom World News. Until then, may God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.